be St. Patty's Day! And it's our baby day! Today we get to go see our baby in our next ultrasound! I can't wait to share with you guys what our baby looks like. We won't get to find out any super interesting information today, but stay tuned. We're going to tell you all about where we're at with our baby. We're driving to the ultrasound clinic right now. I drank as much water as I possibly could because I don't want to pee my pants. I literally almost peed my pants last time. She touched me with the thingy and I literally almost peed my pants. Are you excited, Chad? Yeah, super excited. Um, at the ultrasound place. We tried to take a video, but... Of course, they tell you to put the camera away and there's no cameras allowed. Not allowed to be sneaky. That's how it goes. Yeah. We have some pictures though. We'll show you our pictures. They're sweet pictures. <laughs> so when it comes to the baby, we are not finding out the gender. We're gonna wait for it to be a surprise. Oh, and I didn't tell you, but I think we're gonna call it Baby F. Baby F. Baby okay. F. We're also not going to tell you our names that we have picked, but if it's a girl, her name starts with an F, and if it's a boy, his name starts with an F. So we'll just go with Baby F. <laughs> That's a good idea. We are due July 29th. I'm 21 weeks, and we are moving in two weeks. And yes, for those of you who are still asking, we are raising this baby in a tiny house. <laughs> A lot of people tend to say, where are, we, where are we going to put the baby? And how is that even possible? I think when it comes to like living tiny, like we already live a lifestyle that lots of people ask us, where do we put all of our stuff and how is that possible? So for us, it's just part of normal life. Yeah. I don't think it'll be a big deal at all. We do plan on having the baby sleep next to us in our own bedroom in our sleeping loft for the first stage is maybe for a little while. And the hammock loft, we actually designed to be able to turn it into um, a second bedroom. We could always do that later down the road. There are so many um, flying bugs around right now. It's actually really exciting because <laughs> right. it means it's spring. I just want to <laughs> look at them all. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Yeah, it's happening today. Apparently, it's like 15 degrees right now. I don't know if I totally believe that. It's beautiful. Look. But it is beautiful. In a perfect world, I will mention that obviously I would love to have a home birth. I want to talk to my midwife when I meet her when we move to the island and see what she thinks about that. I, I understand fully that this, when it comes to labor and delivery, you definitely have to be open to anything that could possibly happen and you of course want to do what's best for you and your baby, which I do, um, but in a perfect world I would love to have a home birth and if not a home birth, a water birth at um, the hospital. That's what I'm thinking right now anyways, if I get to have what I want. I'm really excited to actually get to meet my midwife and then go to the hospital and see where I would probably be delivering and get familiar with all the baby stuff. Like once we move to, we're gonna start filling the house with the things that we need for the baby and getting the house ready for baby because there was no point in doing that before the move anyways. I guess we really don't know much else about the baby yet because we have to wait to talk to our midwife next week and go over all the little details. Um, but if you have any questions about how we plan on raising this baby or living tiny with the baby or what I'm gonna buy as baby essentials, <laughs> drop a comment, ask a question. Yeah, let us know. Mm -hmm. We're interested in what you're interested in. Yeah, exactly. I think Medusa sure is going to be jealous of this baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. That'll be interesting, actually. But she'll get used to it. Yeah, she will. Maybe she'll have like a little, a little friend, a little buddy. Right. Right now she's already jealous of everything else, like the cats or if you're 
not paying attention to her. <laughs> She'll get used to it. Yeah. If anything, she might just be really protective of the baby, so that's okay. Yeah, that's totally okay. Fine. <laughs> Maybe she'll bark if the baby moves or whatever, right? Anyways, baby's doing good. We're doing good. I'm feeling great. Like, the second trimester is definitely going swell. I feel so normal. I can eat. I can sleep. I really have nothing to complain about at all, so I feel very grateful. Very, very grateful. Yeah. Well, you guys have a happy St. Patty's Day. Don't forget to celebrate or wear green. I guess by the time you're watching this, it's way past St. Patty's Day. Yeah. Well, I hope you did. I hope, I hope you, you did. did have a good St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah. And until next time, guys. Peace, Peace out. out.